but this is uh, along Highway 90 in Boutique. And I mean, take a look at this behind me. If you're familiar with this area, we're right down the street from Hanville High School, and there are these two gas stations. This is the racetrack or at least this is what's left of the racetrack. It's interesting. We were here just on Monday on our way back from Grand Isle trying to get gas, looking for a bathroom to use. And I mean, this entire covered area over the gas pumps still existed. Obviously, it does not anymore. And this just speaks to how strong these winds came through here last night. And this isn't the only damage that we're seeing. We've seen damage all over the place. The other gas station, the Exxon, just down from us, looks about the same. Its roof was damaged. And if you look it there for you that obviously when these winds came through it just destroyed everything that was in its path a lot of the roofs there's a little motel it looks like right here it's you know not in good shape right now there are power lines that have been down most of the the way that we've been driving and i know i heard you all doing a uh, live interview a few minutes ago with lsp we got caught in that roadblock on i-10 going west we actually had to exit at williams boulevard get over onto airline highway and that's how we were able to make our way here to 310 and then on to 90. we're hoping to make our way to terrebonne parish eventually to see what the damage is there we know it's catastrophic we've heard that from local officials same story in lafouche parish but again, we wanted to stop right now and show you what this damage looks like. Maybe, Brian, let's show them this one more time just because it is such a dramatic image. Again, this was a normal gas station just a few days ago, and it just kind of shows you what we're going to be seeing the farther and farther south we go and the closer to where the eye of Hurricane Ida hit. It's scary. This is um, what we expect to see, but it's never anything that you want to see. We will continue to keep you updated as we continue to drive south, but right now a lot of down power lines, a lot of roofs blown off buildings, and obviously just destruction um, a, a lot of places. So 